Yeah, hi everyone. So let me, let's quickly make um, a dress that we can put on leggings. Just simple and very easy. So here the lens I have here is um, uh, I have 30 inches. Okay, that is the lens. You can make your own longer, but that is the main fabric that I have. Okay, so uh, that was 30 the length. So the width is um because this is what I have left, so I just want to make use of it. So I have uh, 15 on 4, that is 60. Okay. But I can't use it all, so just feel free. So this is how you will do it. And divide the biggest part, if it is your bust or your hip. Okay, so the hip we are working with is 42, divided by 4. Divided by 4. So divide it by 4, then you can add like, Few inches to it so we are cutting the both the front and the back together so this is remember the length is 30 inches okay but because it's just a straight line when i open it up it, it will be 60 but because i want to use it as front and back so that is why i have 30 inches okay so that is why i have 30 inches so the hip if it is your hip, is the if the hip is the biggest part, just add like four inches to it. Okay, four inches to it. So just trying to arrange it. Add four inches to it. So let's go. Like here, the hip is an forty-two. That is an. You can fold your tape. That is 21. Okay, 42. The half is 21. And half of 21 is that 10 points. 10.5. Okay. So 10.5 plus 2 inches. Because it's already on fold, plus 2 inches, that would be uh, 1. So that will be 12.5. So all we need is 12.5. Okay. So I just decided to take uh, the 12.5. So maybe I can use this for another thing later. So I have my, I have like 13 inches here. Okay. That means I had half an inch to it. Okay. So now we can just go ahead with the width. So for the depth, we're going to make it um, 4 inches because there is no zipper. 4 inches. So for the width, we can make it also 4 inches. So we are cutting both the front and the back together. Or we can make it uh, 3.5 for the width. 3.5. Let's make it 3.5 then. Because there is no zipper. Or zip, okay. Just simple thing that anybody can do. For the beginners, just measure the length that you want. The length I'm working with is thirty. You can make your own thirty-five, depend on what you want, okay. So for the shoulder, mark your shoulder. The shoulder we're working with is sixteen divided by two. That is eight, okay. You can measure that first. That is eight. Then from here. Come down by one inch. Alright? So the ham hole we are working with is 16. The ham hole, I think it's 16 or... Let's make, yeah, it's 16. Sorry, 17. We're working with 70. So divided by 2. Like this, that would be 8.5. Okay? So just place your 8.5 here. Okay, and if you don't want to use everything, okay, I'd like to reduce it a little bit. Because after coughing, make it after you after you make a cough air, it's you. Okay, so let's just make eight inches. Okay. 
So just mark the lines to join with the upper line here. Okay. All right. Place your bust. And the bust we are working with is 41 divided by 4. That is 10.25. Okay. It's here. So you can make your cup. Just simple. There's no. All right. So you can have like 1.5. For the allowance of one point five is okay. For the allowance here, yeah, you can make two inches if you want because of this. Okay, it's okay. Then just connect. That is it. Okay. So for the down here, we know that the the hip also is uh, ten points, right? 10.5 so you can decide to add two inches to it like we did okay and just connect like that but if you want it to have like something a shape here okay so this is the main if you want to show the story is here okay so that is the bus, but we want it to be free, right? So that is why we added 1.5 to it. Okay, at the downside, you can add one point, like two inches. And the upper part, you can decide to reduce it. Okay, maybe to 1.5 or two, depends on how you want it. But if you want it to be a shape here, okay, so that means you need to extend it. Okay, so. That is all we have here. Okay. So we are adding. Remember, this is 10.25 and we had 2 inches for his. Even for his, you can make use of 1 inch. Okay. If the down is a shape. Okay. And the same thing, we are adding 2 inches to the down part. For his. Okay. So here at the side. You can just leave the one inch. Okay. Just to join it together. Just the one inch. Okay. Just the one inch. Um, so we cut out. All right, so we can cut it out now. Remember to connect this to the neck. Okay. So, to mend the neck now. And you can decide to leave it. Okay. And you just sew it first. For new, for beginners, you need to cut it. So, this is what we have. So, for the, um, Free, uh, for the free side, you can decide to make your own 1.5, like I said. Okay, so now we are going to cut the sleeve. Okay, put this aside. So I have these pieces. Okay. So, feel free to use the length of sleeve that your material, but the material is not enough. So for me, so I'll just make sure I, I'm just trying to manage it. <laughs> All right, so so I have like um, let's say nine inches by by because I will start by eleven. Okay, 
So I'm just going to make a sleeve cuff. Yeah. So for the bicep, it's not going to be tight, it's going to be free as well. So um 14 inches. So that is seven. So I just place my seven here, what plus one inch. Okay, that's it. Yeah, I'm just going to connect, connect like this. Okay, but make sure the armhole, you measure it. We have nine here, which is okay, but we can reduce it a little bit down. Because we are working with uh, 17. I'm just going to cut it out. So if you want to make it dynamic, you need to shape the shape here. Uh, some yeah can come down okay. that is how to come down okay so Alright, I'm just doing that because my fabric is not enough. So just cut it into two here. So what I'm going to do first is to just go ahead, sew here, like half an inch, then place it to maybe one inch here, then sew. Do the same thing to the second one. Okay, do the same thing to the second one. Then to the after that, you just join it to the join the shoulders together here. After joining the shoulders here, then you put your sleeve. Okay, so your sleeve there. all round. Okay. And turn use bias to turn the neck. Okay. Done sewing. Very lovely. You can wear it as indoor, as outside, dress up. Thanks for watching. Bye. So I have this um the menu fabric is 60 by 61 by 4 inches. The length is 61, while the width is 4 inches. So I'll just sew it and use it as belt. Thank you, guys.